we are going to do the bicep curls, the conventional ones, but we're going to, uh, to start with the band. So you go to start light and then you go as you increase the weight. So we're going to do 12 repetitions. So let's go. That's the first uh, set. I'm gonna change to a much heavier one. We're going to do four, four good sets. So two with the bands and two with the dumbbells. So let's go. like this you're going to go out so the hands are facing downwards let's go so 
don't remember these ones are just going to do three good sets you're not going to be using these weights these are a little bit heavier and if you want to use them you have to reduce the reps completely so on to the next one so you're moving from the light to a little bit uh, heavier ones these ones and we'll do it exactly the same 12 repetitions and then we go to the next exercise. Remember, there's always time to rest. So, I find the one with the barbell a little bit better to perform this exercise, but because for now we don't have a barbell, we are going to, use, to be using these ones. So we're going to bend the knees a little bit, and you go out. go down, you'll have to split them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's a little bit crazy, but you're trying to, to complement every single exercise that you're going to do with the weight. Remember, it's always good to Meant your weight workouts every time you do a particular exercise with the weight, whether you're doing the bicep curls, you're doing the, the overhead presses. Remember, it's always nice, it gives a very good uh, compliment to the shoulders. If you do the overhead presses, you do the three sets of the four sets. It depends on what kind of uh, sets you take, whether 4, 3, 10, 10, 10, or 15, or 12, you do you. It's always good to complement it with, with the shoulder exercise. If we do wait for the hands, it's always good to complement it with uh, an exercise that complements the hands. Let's continue. This same round, you're going to do hammer cut as the last exercise for the for the for the biceps and then we move on to the triceps after then we move on to the chest let's go so if you have a band at home that you don't know how to use it now we are holding it like uh, like this but this is not how you're going to do it when you're doing the hammer cuts so you're going to shift the handles a little bit and hold them like this. Shift the other one forward and hold it like this. So here we go. So from light, medium to a little bit heavier. Now this time around we are going to do four sets. Let's go. One. Let me just adjust. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I've chosen to do 15 because this one is light. So from there, 
we are going to do 15, then we do 12, then we do 10, and then we finish up with the uh, we finish up with the with the eight with the 15 kgs. So let's go. So I'll shift the weight beforehand. Good. This is how you shift them so that you can be able to hold them properly for the hammer cuts. So this time around you're going to do 12. First one, you're going to start with the scar crusher. Remember, for every single part of the body, whether it's biceps or triceps, you're going to do just three different types of exercises to target that area. For the chest, three different exercises. For the back, three different exercises. So, on to the 
か暮らしちゃった So I think the best thing to be right here Let's go up Last year Three Conditioning. We will rest a bit and then we go to the second exercise that targets the triceps. The first exercise for the triceps was scalp traction and then we move on to the kickback, the tricep kickback. We do three sets on one side and then three sets on the other side. And then from there, we move on to the last one. So for this one, we can actually use, use these ones. Remember with bands, you have to be a little bit more creative to be able to know how to use them to your advantage. So I'm going to use just one handle. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm gonna lay it on the ground. I step on one foot, and then you are going to be left with a little bit uh, on this side. So I'm gonna go like right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna extend this hand backward for a kickback. So we're gonna do 10 times, three times. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whoa, it's crazy. We're going to work on one hand and then we move on to the other hand. It's crazy. On to the second set. 10 repetitions. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! One more exercise. And remember, as we go to the, to, to, to the last set on this side, don't lift and then move your hand all the way here and then lift, no, it doesn't work like that. It may give you a little bit uh, of a lift, but the right way, you bring the elbow a little bit up and then the hand has to come from this position every time you squeeze back. So we're gonna do the second, the third repetition and then we rest. From here, you're going to squeeze back and then bend the hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! It's crazy. So you're done. Three, set on this side, and then you switch on to the other side. You do another three sets. After, you're left with one tricep exercise that will come or that will bring down all the exercises for the triceps. Whew. And then we move on to the next ex exercise. So on the triceps you're going to the back, three different exercises. And then we move on. We finish up with the with the chest. So we do the same same thing here. Make it different. Make sure the elbow is up. Don't bring it forward, I put it up, we squeeze, we squeeze 10 times. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Fitness is all about self-sacrifice. The moment you get the body that you dream of, it doesn't come that easily. You have to put in the work, you sacrifice yourself, and make sure that no amount of negativity is going to halt your momentum. Go to the second set. Let's go. tricep kickback. So if you don't have this one, put it in your 
in your things that you should buy for fitness. Very important, very important. I totally recommend that. Now, you're going to do a bad tricep exercise, but before that, let me take some water. So the third exercise for the triceps, we are going to do a single hand triceps press. So you're going to hold the, the weight or your band and then you move it to the back. So what you're going to do, you're going to extend one hand for the balance and then you go out from the back and then you're going to press up. You're going to feel the triceps being squeezed and being worked on. So you're going to do 10 repetitions three times on one side and then we do the same same thing on the other side let's go let's go here yeah. so i think the best thing is to go down at least the camera does not cut because i'm in a very squeezed space let's just go here let's go one two three Six, ten, eight, nine, and ten. When I go to the second, do the same, same. One, two, let's go here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, it's a little bit heavy. Let me take some water on the second set. My hands are completely weak, but you have to press. Let's go. One. to the back. So I'm going to complement that with the triceps exercise. So you're going to do some tricep dips. 15 repetitions. We take a break of 15 seconds before we start the back workout. Three different exercises. So let's go here. So toes facing up and then you lean back a little bit. Let's go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, and five. That's good. So for the back, we are going to start with these ones. This time, because of time, we are not going to be taking too much rest. So this one, I also like it because of the back and the kind of flexibility it gives you what it offers. Now, 
we are going to step right here and right here. So we're going to do the reverse row. So remember the hands are facing forward. You go, you can put your back, you can put your hands on your knees like this. You lift the chest up and then you go down a little bit. You go down a little bit. So you're gonna do three sets, ten each, because of time obviously. We normally do 15. 12, 10, or 15, 12, 8, but for now, 10 times 3 will suffice. Let's go. 1, let's go here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. For the first one. concept one two remember you do this three four five six seven eight nine and ten press a bit Thing. 10 and then we move on to the second exercise so the kind of exercise we're going to complement the back is the Y exercise okay so this one we will do 10 put them down rest a bit 10 seconds and then position ourselves for the Y exercise let's go let's go here exercise let's go here so we're going to put our hands in a, in a Y position and then from here you're going to do just 10 repetitions not more than that let's go one two three We're going to do one hand row, but this time round, I prefer a heavier weight, not starting with the light weight. So, I'm going to start with this one. And remember, if you don't have something to hold on to, I'm gonna show you a good position that you can use to hold up or to do the one hand row. So, I'm going to hold your dumbbell like this. Okay, and then you go down. Then from here, you're going to put your hand on your knee, chest up as always. Make sure it's not sliding. Ten repetitions. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to press a bit. You're going to do three sets on one side, and then you switch on. To the other side. Five seconds is a good break. Let's go.
One more to go. And then we switch the sides. I will repeat again, you've got to sacrifice. It's called self-sacrifice. Hold up the discipline and make sure you're going to get where you're going. It's always very important. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to people who don't think you can do it. Put your mind to it and trust me, you're going to make it. Training is not easy. Motivating yourself is not easy. So, hold the last set and then you switch. Let's go. One more exercise to go. For now, we will not work the shoulders and we will not work the legs. We are going to work the back, the triceps, the biceps, and the chest. On the next exercise, we are going to focus on the legs and the shoulders. Let's go. We're just going to do two great exercises. One for the dress and one for the, the fly. And you're done. Don't pull down and finish up. So, what you're going to do, we are going to, to move the dumbbell from forward to backward. And then when you reach the back, you're going to lift a little bit. So you're gonna do 10 seconds, no, 10 reps, three different, uh, three sets. And then you do one workout for, that's complementary. And then we move on to the, to the chest. Let's go. One, two. water please take some then you go back into the, to the exercise on to the second set let's go Thank you. 
for now. So we're going to do a bike up with a Y, with a Y exercise. So you're going to complement both, or you're going to use both. Just 10 repetitions, and then we'll go into the chest. For the chest, the last exercise will not have anything to do with the chest. I like it, it's high knees. You're going to do it uh, with a tempo. So we start with slow, we start low, we go to a little bit uh, uh, moderate and then we go to advanced or we go to uh, the high speed. Let's go. So the next exercise to complement, so for the next, so for the next exercise to complement the back, because we are done with the back, is uh, the Y exercise and a pike up. Always very very good. Uh, it's the, the next the next exercise that we're going to do that will complement the 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 back is the shoulder taps and the push up. So we're gonna do push up, push up with the shoulder tap. So the next exercise, the next exercise that we're going to do that will definitely complement the back is the reverse butterfly with a uh, push up with the shoulder tap. So we're gonna do both of them. This is how we, we do it. Let's go. So, so from here, you're going to move your hands out. Good. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have one more exercise. Push up to the shoulder tap. This also a very good complement for the shoulders. Let's go. Let's go up. One. Two. Three. Four. Remember you're not supposed to move every time you're doing you're tapping your shoulders. You should not move like this. This is wrong. So I know you have six to go, but I have to, to give you that advice. It's very, very important. Every time you are doing a shoulder tap, make sure the body remains intact. There's no swinging from one side to the other. Six times, six more to go. Done 12. 
Oh, it's okay. I'm just trying to do something I used to. I'm used to. It was when I do 12 times 3, 15 times 3, or 15, 12, 10. I'm on to the last one. Let's go. Last one. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's all for today. Until next time. about it guys thank you so much for watching and taking part in that fitness video as we continue to improve ourselves one person at a time remember fitness is a broad concept that encompasses various forms of physical activities including cardiovascular exercises strength training flexibility and recreational activities finding an activity or activities that you enjoy and incorporating them into your daily routine can make it easier for you to have a consistent fitness regimen and reap the benefit it offers and if you really enjoyed that workout, please don't hesitate to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, there are a lot of fitness videos in this channel that you can try out. And like always, be fit, be strong, be healthy.